Hello guys, uh, this again is Pierce Calloway, uh, bringing to you more of God's Word and also fitness uh, fitness, fitness ex expertise, if that's the right thing to say guys. Um, I'm not the best uh, trainer in the world, I just know what I've been taught and I know it works. So I'm willing to share that also with you. Um, but first guys, I want to reverse order. Um, all my videos right now, I've started out um, with just showing you the fitness. I want to start out right now by reading some of God's Word to you first. Um, and again, I will try to leave a timeline, if I remember to, uh, before I publish this video, just to make sure that those that don't want to hear the talking can speed through to the exercise part. So I'll leave that in the notes um, on the video. But guys, the the scripture that I wanted to share with you today. In your Bibles, in the English Standard Version, it's just a version I've chosen because it's really easy to read, and I notice that it's not too loose of an interpretation. But it's from 1 Peter chapter 4, verses 13. And it says, But rejoice insofar as you share Christ's sufferings, that you may also rejoice and be glad when his glory is revealed. So guys, again, um, you know what? God kind of showed me a lot of things personally with this verse because I asked him, what exactly does that mean to share in your sufferings? How do I know when I'm doing that? And guys, when I honestly prayed that prayer and asked him, please show me what this actually means. I just have never heard sermons on it. I've never heard people go, you know, it, it's just, we get caught up, at least as Christians, guys, in just believing that life's just going to be awesome. It's going to be easy once you, uh, once you join Team Jesus. But guess what? It's actually the opposite, guys. Every day is difficult if you're actually trying to obey Him and listen to His voice. If you're actually trying to live out even 10% of what you find in the Bible, guys, you're going to find a lot of issues. You're going to find a lot of people really not being comfortable hearing what you have to say. So, guys, that's why everything has to be done in love but specifically for this scripture. God showed me, when you're treated wrong for doing right, guys, that's just one of the many ways you are sharing in his sufferings with him. I remember coming home several times to my wife after a day of work, going, you know what? I'm, I'm actually sick and tired of being treated like crap when I'm trying to treat people good. It's like, why? And then I was shown this scripture, and it's like, you know what? We're promised trials. And also, I should expect daily, just like, guys, many, 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 many of you practicing Christians. Guys, if we're doing something according to scripture, why is it? Why is it? I'm asking myself this question. I want you to ask this question. If I'm obeying scripture, why should I think that anybody else is going to treat me the way that I want to be treated? Why should that be an expectation? Shouldn't my expectation, I mean, not to, not to just believe the worst in people, but the Bible does a ton of promising, guys, on going through trials, perseverance, now showing that we're supposed to share in suffering just the way Jesus Christ did. So, guys, uh, again, I'm just trying to be the king of common sense here, but guess what? If I'm supposed to share in the ways he suffered, Guess what? That sucks. But I did sign up for it. So, you know what, Jesus? 
I want to obey you every single day. I want to share in those sufferings. And you know what? I probably don't have I probably don't have a lot of say in it anyway, guys. Okay? If you try to be one of those individuals that actually obey and live out scripture, guys, you have been promised from the Bible, from the word of God that you're not always going to receive love back. You are going to be mistreated, guys, for the sake of Jesus Christ, the one you follow, the one that you're supposed to try to become like in all circumstances. It's just, it's, it's opened my eyes, guys, as soon as I was shown that, that scripture. It's like, so whenever I'm being treated worse than what I deserve, why can't I take it as Christ's sufferings? Remember, I'm supposed to forgive everybody like that, no matter if I feel like it or not, guys. As a Christian, as someone who is trying to actually live out this stuff I'm reading, guys, it's difficult. It's difficult because you are going to be mistreated constantly, constantly. Remember, the world we live in doesn't recognize the Bible. They want it their way, right away. And guess what? Jesus said, do everything in love. And if you can't, guys, we have nothing. When someone wants to sue you, remember, you don't sue them back. You don't fight anything with flesh. Guys, take it all right now as sharing in Jesus Christ's sufferings. We are to share everything and be treated as he was treated in the world. So, if we actually start developing those kinds of obedient hearts, guys, that just accept the crap the world throws at us, I think a lot of it, I, I think a lot of it's okay to accept. There's not a lot really that people can do to me or have done to me that I can't get through. And a lot of the times, the dumb little interactions that I have with, with people daily that don't end the way that I wanted them to end, nothing really bad happens. In all honesty, guys, like the Bible says, it, it ends up short of bloodshed. I mean, I really haven't experienced way too many hardships here in this world. So, if somebody cuts me in line, if somebody gives me two middle fingers and not just one because they think I cut them off in traffic, then you know what? I, okay, I've seen the middle finger before plenty of times. I'll accept it. I don't have to give it back. I can just accept that maybe in life, because I choose to try to follow Jesus and obey his word, that not everything's going to end up being, being my way. It's not going to, it's going to rarely make me happy. And, and it still can be from the hand of God. So guys, what I want to move now into is the fitness portion of this video. This exercise is a lot more difficult than I'm going to show and try to explain it, guys. I'm going to try to, it's complicated, but I'm going to try to make it simple. Okay, it's just simply called a one-arm stand-up. And I'll show you accordingly. So again, you do it from the ground, just like I am right now. And choose a weight, guys, that is light enough for you to stay with good core posture the whole time. So you're starting sitting on your butt. Again, remember your ears, shoulders, and hips are all aligned, guys. That means all of this and all of this is engaged. From here to here, I'm good. I have my weight here. I set that down on the ground. With my off arm, guys, I'm pushing up on the ground. Once I push up on that other, 
the nearest leg here goes up, this arm goes straight up, and guys, I make sure I'm keeping all of my weight back, and I'm simply standing up. Okay, sorry, I think I was out of picture there. But I'll do it again, now that you might be able to see me better. So again, guys, from a seated position, I don't care which arm you have. I'll go here so you can see this view. One hand down on the floor, ears, shoulders, hips, always straight. Push down, raise this arm up, and keep, guys, keep. Right now, keep everything absolutely straight and push up. Okay? Guys, again, throw comments at this video. Please give me your prayer requests. Guys, if we need, if we need physical healing, Ask me to pray for you. I would love to pray for you. I would love to pray for your physical healing, guys. I don't have to be next door neighbors, or you don't have to be in this house with me while I'm taping this video for you to be healed and for me to be able to be used by Jesus Christ to get you healed. Guys, it's, it's up to him if he wants to heal you. It's all him, and according to his word, he wants it. We just have to ask for it. So guys, again, please, if any of these videos are helping you, if it's giving you any insight, if it's helping you with the fitness, if it's helping you understand God's Word, please subscribe so you're getting all the videos. I love comments. I love your prayer requests, guys. And uh, let's just, uh, not trying to lay a joke out here, but let's just keep trying to fight the good fight, guys. Whatever that means, just don't literally fight every, everybody else because it gets you nowhere. So, guys, thanks again. I'll keep posting other videos, and please keep giving me the likes and the subscribes because that's what helps me out a ton. Thank you, guys.